gaining undeniable speed of accomplishment, a very important powerful prayer. Hello brethren in the Lord. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Prayer Altars. As usual, we have 5 prayer points for you to pray today. You are expected to pray each prayer point repeatedly for at least 2 minutes. And I see God answer you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To continue, kindly pray all the prayer points in this video, then like and subscribe if you have not done so. Please also, make comments and share this video link with your loved ones and provide feedback to us in the comment section. You shall enjoy life to its fullness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's go into the prayers. One, Father, thank you for the grace to see another brand new week. This shall be the best week ever in my life as you give me unusual testimonies in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 21 verse 13, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. One, Father, thank you for the grace to see another brand new week. This shall be the best week ever in my life as you give me unusual testimonies in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 21 verse 13, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 1. Father, thank you for the grace to see another brand new week. This shall be the best week ever in my life as you give me unusual testimonies in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 21 verse 13, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 1. Father, Thank you for the grace to see another brand new week. This shall be the best week ever in my life as you give me unusual testimonies in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 21 verse 13, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let me be separated from anti-covenant men who have constituted barriers to my covenant blessings. Engrace me to love you and your kingdom more than ever in Jesus' name. Psalms 1, 1-3, 1 1 Corinthians 2-9 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let me be separated from anti-covenant men who have constituted barriers to my covenant blessings. Engrace me to love you and your kingdom more than ever in Jesus' name. Psalms 1, 1-3, 1 1 Corinthians 2-9 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let me be separated from anti-covenant men who have constituted barriers to my covenant blessings. Engrace me to love you and your kingdom more than ever in Jesus' name. Psalms 1, 1-3, 1 1 Corinthians 2-9 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let me be separated from anti-covenant men who have constituted barriers to my covenant blessings. Engrace me to love you and your kingdom more than ever in Jesus' name. Psalms 1, 1-3, 1, 1 Corinthians 2-9 
3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let me experience unusual restorations of whatever I might have lost to the devil since I was born and cause me to enjoy rest roundabout from now on in Jesus' name. Joel chapter 2 verses 25 to 27, Job chapter 20 verse 15. Three, Father, through the greatness of your power, let me experience unusual restorations of whatever I might have lost to the devil since I was born and cause me to enjoy rest roundabout from now on in Jesus' name. Joel chapter 2 verses 25 to 27, Job chapter 20 verse 15. Three, Father, through the greatness of your power, let me experience unusual restorations of whatever I might have lost to the devil since I was born and cause me to enjoy rest roundabout from now on in Jesus' name. Joel chapter 2 verses 25 to 27, Job chapter 20 verse 15. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let me experience unusual restorations of whatever I might have lost to the devil since I was born and cause me to enjoy rest roundabout from now on in Jesus' name. Joel chapter 2 verses 25 to 27, Job chapter 20 verse 15. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let you anger be upon any man or group of men conspiring against my promotions and progress as you make them to fall down flat before me. I decree from now on, I shall gain undeniable speed of accomplishment in life in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 15, Joshua chapter 6 verse 20. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let you anger be upon any man or group of men conspiring against my promotions and progress as you make them to fall down flat before me. I decree from now on, I shall gain undeniable speed of accomplishment in life in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 15, Joshua chapter 6 verse 20. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let you anger be upon any man or group of men conspiring against my promotions and progress as you make them to fall down flat before me. I decree from now on, I shall gain undeniable speed of accomplishment in life in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 15, Joshua chapter 6 verse 20. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let you anger be upon any man or group of men conspiring against my promotions and progress as you make them to fall down flat before me. I decree from now on, I shall gain undeniable speed of accomplishment in life in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 15, Joshua chapter 6 verse 20. 5. Father, by the blood of everlasting covenant, keep me and my entire households from attack of the wicked. I decree that, your angels shall be fully in charge of all that concerns me from now on in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, Psalms 91 to 10 12. 5. Father, by the blood of everlasting covenant, Keep me and my entire households from attack of the wicked. I decree that, your angels shall be fully in charge of all that concerns me from now on in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, Psalms 91 to 10 12. 
5. Father, by the blood of everlasting covenant, keep me and my entire households from attack of the wicked. I decree that, your angels shall be fully in charge of all that concerns me from now on in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, Psalms 91 to 10 12. Five, Father, by the blood of everlasting covenant, keep me and my entire households from attack of the wicked. I decree that, your angels shall be fully in charge of all that concerns me from now on in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, Psalms 91 to 10 12. Pray these prayers and shout a believing, Amen. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos. God shall blot out all your sins in Jesus' name go and sin no more. Hello brethren in the Lord. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Prayer Altars. As usual, we have 5 prayer points for you to pray today. You are expected to pray each prayer point repeatedly for at least 2 minutes. And I see God answer you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To continue, Kindly pray all the prayer points in this video, then like, and subscribe if you have not done so. Please also, make comments and share this video link with your loved ones and provide feedback to us in the comment section. You shall enjoy life to its fullness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's go into the prayers. One, Father, everything in me celebrates your goodness and kindness over my family and me. Thank you for the grace to be counted among the living in Jesus' name. Psalms 103, 1-2, Isaiah chapter 38 verse 19. One, Father. Everything in me celebrates your goodness and kindness over my family and me. Thank you for the grace to be counted among the living in Jesus' name. Psalms 103, 1-2, Isaiah chapter 38 verse 19. 1. Father. Everything in me celebrates your goodness and kindness over my family and me. Thank you for the grace to be counted among the living in Jesus' name. Psalms 103, 1-2, Isaiah chapter 38 verse 19. 1. Father. Everything in me celebrates your goodness and kindness over my family and me. Thank you for the grace to be counted among the living in Jesus' name. Psalms 103, 1-2, Isaiah chapter 38 verse 19. 
2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let your mercy clear and cleanse my messes even my past errors. Because of your Son, Jesus, blot out every consequence of past sins that might want to sink me in Jesus' name. Psalms 123-23, Psalms 51-9. Two. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let your mercy clear and cleanse my messes even my past errors. Because of your Son, Jesus, blot out every consequence of past sins that might want to sink me in Jesus' name. Psalms 123-23, Psalms 51-9. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let your mercy clear and cleanse my messes even my past errors. Because of your Son, Jesus, blot out every consequence of past sins that might want to sink me in Jesus' name. Psalms 123-23, Psalms 51-9. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let your mercy clear and cleanse my messes even my past errors. Because of your Son, Jesus, blot out every consequence of past sins that might want to sink me in Jesus' name. Psalms 123-23, Psalms 51-9 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let my fear and dread be put upon enemies that surround me as you cause your presence to overshadow me in Jesus' name. 1 Sam.18, 12, Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 25. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let my fear and dread be put upon enemies that surround me as you cause your presence to overshadow me in Jesus' name. 1 Sam.18, 12, Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 25. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let my fear and dread be put upon enemies that surround me as you cause your presence to overshadow me in Jesus' name. 1 Sam.18, 12, Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 25. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let my fear and dread be put upon enemies that surround me as you cause your presence to overshadow me in Jesus' name. 1 Sam.18, 12, Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 25. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let me never be a victim of the traps of the wicked, as you disappoint all their devices. Henceforth, order my steps in Jesus' name. Psalms 124-67, Psalms 37-23. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let me never be a victim of the traps of the wicked, as you disappoint all their devices. Henceforth, order my steps in Jesus' name. Psalms 124-67, Psalms 37-23. 5. Father, 
4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let me never be a victim of the traps of the wicked, as you disappoint all their devices. Henceforth, order my steps in Jesus' name. Psalms 124-6-7, Psalms 37-23. Four. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let me never be a victim of the traps of the wicked, as you disappoint all their devices. Henceforth, order my steps in Jesus' name. Psalms 124-6-7, Psalms 37-23. 5. Father, by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, let every perpetual threat of death over my family and me be destroyed as you re-establish our covenant of long life in Christ. There shall be no premature death in my camp in Jesus' name. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14, Isaiah chapter 25 verse 8, Revelations 21 to 4. 5. Father, by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, let every perpetual threat of death over my family and me be destroyed as you re-establish our covenant of long life in Christ. There shall be no premature death in my camp in Jesus' name. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14, Isaiah chapter 25 verse 8, Revelations 21 to 4. 5. Father, by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, let every perpetual threat of death over my family and me be destroyed as you re-establish our covenant of long life in Christ. There shall be no premature death in my camp in Jesus' name. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14, Isaiah chapter 25 verse 8, Revelations 21 to 4. 5. Father, by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, let every perpetual threat of death over my family and me be destroyed as you re-establish our covenant of long life in Christ. There shall be no premature death in my camp in Jesus' name. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14, Isaiah chapter 25 verse 8, Revelations 21 to 4. Pray these prayers and shout a believing, Amen. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos. God shall frustrate every attempt of the wicked to spill your blood. Hello brethren in the Lord. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Prayer Altars. As usual, we have 5 prayer points for you to pray today. You are expected to pray each prayer point repeatedly for at least 2 minutes. And I see God answer you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To continue. Kindly pray all the prayer points in this video, then like, and subscribe if you have not done so. Please also, make comments and share this video link with your loved ones and provide feedback to us in the comment section. You shall enjoy life to its fullness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.
So let's go into the prayers. One, Father, I am sincerely grateful for the grace to be counted among the living and for the opportunity to see another weekend. To you alone deserves my praises in Jesus' name. Psalms 92, 1-2, Psalms 34-1. One, Father, I am sincerely grateful for the grace to be counted among the living and for the opportunity to see another weekend. To you alone deserves my praises in Jesus' name. Psalms 92, 1-2, Psalms 34-1. One, Father, I am sincerely grateful for the grace to be counted among the living and for the opportunity to see another weekend. To you alone deserves my praises in Jesus' name. Psalms 92, 1-2, Psalms 34-1. Father, I am sincerely grateful for the grace to be counted among the living and for the opportunity to see another weekend. To you alone deserves my praises in Jesus' name. Psalms 92, 1-2, Psalms 34-1. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every evil covenant my parents have entered into that may be stopping me from moving to the next level in career, business, marriage, and ministry be destroyed by your light today in Jesus' name. John chapter 1 verse 5, Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Two, Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every evil covenant my parents have entered into that may be stopping me from moving to the next level in career, business, marriage, and ministry be destroyed by your light today in Jesus' name. John chapter 1 verse 5, Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every evil covenant my parents have entered into that may be stopping me from moving to the next level in career, business, marriage, and ministry be destroyed by your light today in Jesus' name. John chapter 1 verse 5, Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every evil covenant my parents have entered into that may be stopping me from moving to the next level in career, business, marriage, and ministry be destroyed by your light today in Jesus' name. John chapter 1 verse 5, Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. 3. Father through the greatness of your power, let my heaven open up for supernatural supplies that will end all toiling and sweating in my life, business, and ministry in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 5 verses 4 to 7. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let my heaven open up for supernatural supplies that will end all toiling and sweating in my life, business, and ministry in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 5 verses 4 to 7. 
3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let my heaven open up for supernatural supplies that will end all toiling and sweating in my life, business, and ministry in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 5 verses 4 to 7. Three, Father, through the greatness of your power, let my heaven open up for supernatural supplies that will end all toiling and sweating in my life, business, and ministry in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 5 verses 4 to 7. Four. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let whosoever going about patronizing herbalists and soothsayers because of me embark on a suicidal mission whereby he, she meets with untimely death for such an act in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 49 verses 24 to 26, Proverbs chapter 26 verse 27. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let whosoever going about patronizing herbalists and soothsayers because of me embark on a suicidal mission whereby he, she meets with untimely death for such an act in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 49 verses 24 to 26, Proverbs chapter 26 verse 27. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let whosoever going about patronizing herbalists and soothsayers because of me embark on a suicidal mission whereby he, she meets with untimely death for such an act in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 49 verses 24 to 26, Proverbs chapter 26 verse 27. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let whosoever going about patronizing herbalists and soothsayers because of me embark on a suicidal mission whereby he, she meets with untimely death for such an act in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 49 verses 24 to 26, Proverbs chapter 26 verse 27. 5. Father, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, frustrate every attempt of the wicked to spill my blood and that of my loved ones as you keep us from all evil in the remaining days of this year and beyond in Jesus' name. Revelations 12 11, Psalms 91 to 1 3, Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25. 5. Father, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, frustrate every attempt of the wicked to spill my blood and that of my loved ones as you keep us from all evil in the remaining days of this year and beyond in Jesus' name. Revelations 12 11, Psalms 91 to 1 3, Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25. 5. Father, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, frustrate every attempt of the wicked to spill my blood and that of my loved ones as you keep us from all evil in the remaining days of this year and beyond in Jesus' name. Revelations 12 11, Psalms 91 to 1 3, Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25. 5. Father, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, Frustrate every attempt of the wicked to spill my blood and that of my loved ones as you keep us from all evil in the remaining days of this year and beyond in Jesus' name. Revelations 12 11, Psalms 91 to 1 3, Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25. 
pray these prayers and shout a believing, Amen. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos. God shall make of no effect every manipulation targeted against your glory. Hello brethren in the Lord. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Prayer Altars. As usual, we have 5 prayer points for you to pray today. You are expected to pray each prayer point repeatedly for at least 2 minutes. And I see God answer you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To continue, Kindly pray all the prayer points in this video, then like, and subscribe if you have not done so. Please also, make comments and share this video link with your loved ones and provide feedback to us in the comment section. You shall enjoy life to its fullness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's go into the prayers. One. Father. Thank you for another brand new day I am privileged to see and the grace to conquer the night session. To you alone be all honor in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20, Psalms 92 to 1 and 2. One. Father. Thank you for another brand new day I am privileged to see and the grace to conquer the night session. To you alone be all honor in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20, Psalms 92 to 1 and 2. 1. Father. Thank you for another brand new day I am privileged to see and the grace to conquer the night session. To you alone be all honor in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20, Psalms 92 to 1 and 2. 1. Father. Thank you for another brand new day I am privileged to see and the grace to conquer the night session. To you alone be all honor in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20, Psalms 92 to 1 and 2. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, give me fresh oil in my lamp today that will keep me burning for you and your kingdom service. I refuse to go down spiritually in Jesus' name. Matthew 25, 1-13, Leviticus chapter 6 verses 12-13. 3. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, Give me fresh oil in my lamp today that will keep me burning for you and your kingdom service. I refuse to go down spiritually in Jesus' name. Matthew 25, 1-13, Leviticus chapter 6 verses 12-13. 4.
2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, give me fresh oil in my lamp today that will keep me burning for you and your kingdom service. I refuse to go down spiritually in Jesus' name. Matthew 25, 1-13, Leviticus chapter 6 verses 12-13. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, give me fresh oil in my lamp today that will keep me burning for you and your kingdom service. I refuse to go down spiritually in Jesus' name. Matthew 25, 1-13, Leviticus chapter 6 verses 12-13. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, arise for my help against those that are ganging up to fight me today as you give to me victory over them all in Jesus' name. Psalms 35, 1-3, 2 Corinthians 2 14. Three. Father, through the greatness of your power, arise for my help against those that are ganging up to fight me today as you give to me victory over them all in Jesus' name. Psalms 35, 1-3, 2 Corinthians 2 14. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, arise for my help against those that are ganging up to fight me today as you give to me victory over them all in Jesus' name. Psalms 35, 1-3, 2 Corinthians 2-14. 4. Father, through the greatness of your power, Arise for my help against those that are ganging up to fight me today as you give to me victory over them all in Jesus' name. Psalms 35, 1-3, 2 Corinthians 2-14. 3. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, destroy every force of hell that has vowed to take me back to square zero. Henceforth, let me gain speed of accomplishments in my career, business, and ministry in Jesus' name. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18, Job chapter 5 verse 12. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, destroy every force of hell that has vowed to take me back to square zero. Henceforth, let me gain speed of accomplishments in my career, business, and ministry in Jesus' name. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18, Job chapter 5 verse 12. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, destroy every force of hell that has vowed to take me back to square zero. Henceforth, let me gain speed of accomplishments in my career, business, and ministry in Jesus' name. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18, Job chapter 5 verse 12. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, destroy every force of hell that has vowed to take me back to square zero. Henceforth, let me gain speed of accomplishments in my career, business, and ministry in Jesus' name. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18, Job chapter 5 verse 12. 
5. Father, by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, give no place to my foes to wrongfully rejoice over me as you make of no effect every manipulation targeted against my glory this year in Jesus' name. Revelations 12 11, Psalms 35-19. Five, Father, by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, give no place to my foes to wrongfully rejoice over me as you make of no effect every manipulation targeted against my glory this year in Jesus' name. Revelations 12 11, Psalms 35 to 19. Five, Father, by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, give no place to my foes to wrongfully rejoice over me as you make of no effect every manipulation targeted against my glory this year in Jesus' name. Revelations 12 11, Psalms 35 to 19. Five, Father, by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, Give no place to my foes to wrongfully rejoice over me as you make of no effect every manipulation targeted against my glory this year in Jesus' name. Revelations 12 11, Psalms 35 to 19. Pray these prayers and shout a believing, Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos. God's absolute protection is sure, no weeping no crying. Hello brethren in the Lord. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Prayer Altars. As usual, we have 5 prayer points for you to pray today. You are expected to pray each prayer point repeatedly for at least 2 minutes. And I see God answer you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To continue, kindly pray all the prayer points in this video, then like and subscribe if you have not done so. Please also, make comments and share this video link with your loved ones and provide feedback to us in the comment section. You shall enjoy life to its fullness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's go into the prayers. One, Father, thank you a billion times for the opportunity and grace given unto me to see another weekend. Accept my sacrifice of praises today in Jesus' name. Psalms 3 to 5, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. One, Father, thank you a billion times for the opportunity and grace given unto me to see another weekend. Accept my sacrifice of praises today in Jesus' name. Psalms 3 to 5. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 1. Father, 
Thank you a billion times for the opportunity and grace given unto me to see another weekend. Accept my sacrifice of praises today in Jesus' name. Psalms 3 to 5, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. One, Father, thank you a billion times for the opportunity and grace given unto me to see another weekend. Accept my sacrifice of praises today in Jesus' name. Psalms 3 to 5, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. Two, Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let this weekend be my era of good news, whereby men across the globe shall remember me for good in all aspects of my endeavors in Jesus' name. Romans.8, 28, Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 19. Two, Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let this weekend be my era of good news, whereby men across the globe shall remember me for good in all aspects of my endeavors in Jesus' name. Romans.8, 28, Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 19. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let this weekend be my era of good news, whereby men across the globe shall remember me for good in all aspects of my endeavors in Jesus' name. Romans.8, 28, Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 19. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let this weekend be my era of good news, whereby men across the globe shall remember me for good in all aspects of my endeavors in Jesus' name. Romans.8, 28, Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 19. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, Put into my mouth a new song this weekend as you fulfill all the good things you have promised me this month. I decree, beginning from now, there shall be strange order of divine coincidences in my life and ministry in Jesus' name. Joshua chapter 21 verse 45, Romans chapter 8 verse 28. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, Put into my mouth a new song this weekend as you fulfill all the good things you have promised me this month. I decree, beginning from now, there shall be strange order of divine coincidences in my life and ministry in Jesus' name. Joshua chapter 21 verse 45, Romans chapter 8 verse 28. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, put into my mouth a new song this weekend as you fulfill all the good things you have promised me this month. I decree, beginning from now, there shall be strange order of divine coincidences in my life and ministry in Jesus' name. Joshua chapter 21 verse 45, Romans chapter 8 verse 28. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, Put into my mouth a new song this weekend as you fulfill all the good things you have promised me this month. I decree, beginning from now, there shall be strange order of divine coincidences in my life and ministry in Jesus' name. Joshua chapter 21 verse 45, Romans chapter 8 verse 28. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, 
let every good thing my mates are doing be a reoccurring decimal in my life. I decree unusual noiseless breakthroughs in ministry and career in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 to 2, Isaiah chapter 45 verses 1 to 3. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every good thing my mates are doing be a reoccurring decimal in my life. I decree unusual noiseless breakthroughs in ministry and career in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 to 2, Isaiah chapter 45 verses 1 to 3. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every good thing my mates are doing be a reoccurring decimal in my life. I decree unusual noiseless breakthroughs in ministry and career in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 to 2, Isaiah chapter 45 verses 1 to 3. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every good thing my mates are doing be a reoccurring decimal in my life. I decree unusual noiseless breakthroughs in ministry and career in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 to 2, Isaiah chapter 45 verses 1 to 3. 5. Father, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, let me have no occasion to cry, weep on any issue of my life this year and beyond as you keep and protect all that concerns me in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4, Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 2, Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. 5. Father, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, let me have no occasion to cry, weep on any issue of my life this year and beyond as you keep and protect all that concerns me in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4, Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 2, Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. 5. Father, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, let me have no occasion to cry, weep on any issue of my life this year and beyond as you keep and protect all that concerns me in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4, Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 2, Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. 5. Father, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, let me have no occasion to cry, weep on any issue of my life this year and beyond as you keep and protect all that concerns me in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4, Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 2, Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Pray these prayers and shout a believing, Amen. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos. No occasion to mourn, 
Weep or gnash my teeth. Hello brethren in the Lord. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Prayer Altars. As usual, we have five prayer points for you to pray today. You are expected to pray each prayer point repeatedly for at least two minutes. And I see God answer you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To continue, kindly pray all the prayer points in this video, then like and subscribe if you have not done so. Please also, make comments and share this video link with your loved ones and provide feedback to us in the comment section. You shall enjoy life to its fullness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's go into the prayers. One, Father, thank you for the grace that kept me to see another brand new day this month. To you will I praise all the days of my life in Jesus' name. Psalms 113-3, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. One, Father, thank you for the grace that kept me to see another brand new day this month. To you will I praise all the days of my life in Jesus' name. Psalms 113-3, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 1. Father, thank you for the grace that kept me to see another brand new day this month. To you will I praise all the days of my life in Jesus' name. Psalms 113-3, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 1. Father, thank you for the grace that kept me to see another brand new day this month. To you will I praise all the days of my life in Jesus' name. Psalms 113-3, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 2. Father. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let this week be the best in achievements and breakthroughs as you cause me to experience your divine visitation in career, business, and ministry in Jesus' name. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 12, Job chapter 10 verse 12. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let this week be the best in achievements and breakthroughs as you cause me to experience your divine visitation in career, business, and ministry in Jesus' name. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 12, Job chapter 10 verse 12. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let this week be the best in achievements and breakthroughs as you cause me to experience your divine visitation in career, business, and ministry in Jesus' name. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 12, Job chapter 10 verse 12. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let this week be the best in achievements and breakthroughs as you cause me to experience your divine visitation in career, business, and ministry in Jesus' name. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 12, Job chapter 10 verse 12. 
3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let your covenant speaks for me and my household as you deliver us from the cruel and wicked men of this world in Jesus' name. Psalms 74-2021 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let your covenant speaks for me and my household as you deliver us from the cruel and wicked men of this world in Jesus' name. Psalms 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let your covenant speaks for me and my household as you deliver us from the cruel and wicked men of this world in Jesus' name. Psalms 74-2021 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, let your covenant speaks for me and my household as you deliver us from the cruel and wicked men of this world in Jesus' name. Psalms 74 to 2021. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every gang up against me be visited with your divine vengeance as you prepare an instrument of death for any mortal man seeking my fall this year in Jesus' name. Psalm 713, Psalm 68, 1-2 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every gang up against me be visited with your divine vengeance as you prepare an instrument of death for any mortal man seeking my fall this year in Jesus' name. Psalm 713, Psalm 68, 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every gang up against me be visited with your divine vengeance as you prepare an instrument of death for any mortal man seeking my fall this year in Jesus' name. Psalm 713, Psalm 68, 1-2 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let every gang up against me be visited with your divine vengeance as you prepare an instrument of death for any mortal man seeking my fall this year in Jesus' name. Psalm 713, Psalm 68, 1-2 5. Father, by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, let me never have any occasion to mourn, weep or gnash my teeth all through this year and beyond as you defend, protect, and watch over me from ungodly attacks in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 2, Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 18 to 19, Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Five, Father, by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, let me never have any occasion to mourn, weep or gnash my teeth all through this year and beyond as you defend, protect, and watch over me from ungodly attacks in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 2, Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 18 to 19, Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. 5. Father, 
by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, let me never have any occasion to mourn, weep or gnash my teeth all through this year and beyond as you defend, protect, and watch over me from ungodly attacks in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 2, Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 18 to 19, Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Five, Father, by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, let me never have any occasion to mourn, weep or gnash my teeth all through this year and beyond as you defend, protect, and watch over me from ungodly attacks in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 2, Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 18 to 19, Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Pray these prayers and shout a believing, Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos.